right. Main event. <laughs> <laughs> Hook versus Fuego del Sol. This went three minutes, maybe four. I didn't write one. Three minutes, I told you. I didn't write one single letter down while I was going on. From, from the moment Hook appeared on the ramp, I just took it all in. Then I went back and watched it again. <laughs> How long has Hook been on TV? About a year. I think he started showing up when they started feuding with Sting and Darby, which was after winter was coming last year. So not even a year, I don't think. He always just stands there looking cool because he's Hook and he knows it. And I, I said... I, I don't need to see him wrestle because his wrestling cannot live up to how great he is just standing there being Hook. And I was wrong. I underestimated Hook. Comes out here, and I, after watching this a couple of times, I decided the best way to describe this is he's about uh, three parts that go into being Hook. First part, obviously, is Taz. And this is Dad. He does the suplexes like Taz. He's got a lot of judo like Taz. Does those cross faces like Taz. And, of course, has the katahajime like Taz. Although Taz himself, we're sure to point out, this is no longer the Taz mission. It is now Red Rum, which is awesome. So there's one-third Taz. At the same time, he's got his hair is all fucked up, but in a cool way. And he's <laughs> chewing his gum down to the ring. And he... Turns his back to his opponent at the, at the when the when the match starts is leaning in the corner, almost slumped in the corner. I don't know if this is a direct influence, but hook this hook kid, very tranquilo. There's a lot of Tetsuya Naido to hook, and then unlike Taz, he apparently got a his uh, height from his mom. He's tall, he's lanky, and he's out there. He's very athletic, but he's got his he's got his fist taped up taped up almost to the elbow like a kickboxer, and he's. Got his, the, the hands up high like a kickboxing stance. And the best I could come up with is Mirko Crow Cop. But uh, if that's a better kickboxer you didn't think of, he actually didn't throw me kicks. He was mostly doing punches. And one totally awesome one-handed Mongolian chop. When he grabbed up Fuego and took his long, long arm way, front, way back downtown. And it just ridge hand chopped him. It was awesome. So there you go. One-third Taz, one-third Naito, one-third Mirko Crow Cop. You get hook. And he beat this guy's ass and choked him out. And nonchalantly walked to the back like it was nothing. It was perfect. Dude, I could talk for hours about Hook. Good. Is that what everyone wants? Yes. Well, let's start at the beginning here. This fucking kid's awesome. And I can't help but think of WWE when I see old Hook. Because they got their new NIL deal, and <laughs> they don't want no wrestlers. They want... They want athletes they want olympians they want ncaa blah 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 and at the end of the day look at hook this kid's been in this business his whole life his father is taz like this kid came out of the womb and was was wrestling around with his dad and then he got into judo i don't know how many years he's been doing judo but he's been doing judo for a long time and he just gets it and he's had, I think, about a half dozen training school matches, but that's it. A half dozen training school matches. And he came out on national television, and he had this match with Fuego del Sol. The dude looks like a star. He carries himself like a star. He's got the poise, his work... I mean, whatever you want to say about his... It was three-minute match, so we really didn't know a lot about his work. But everything that he did looked great. When he had to sell, it was fine. I mean, the when he when they hit his music and he came out, this whole arena just went crazy for this guy. He's got a screen presence. The oh. people react to this guy. And he works his ass off. I mean, he's been, I mean, all of the different things. I, I don't know all of the athletic endeavors he has been involved in, but it's been many. And he's worked his ass off in all of them. And now he comes out here, and lo and behold, you get a second-generation wrestler, and you throw him in the ring, and you got the debut of a hook. This guy was a megastar out there. So I don't know what to say about this that hasn't already been said. But, I mean, if you if you think about, you know, where would this guy be if he were in NXT? Uh, doing conditioning drills day after day after day. I mean, what yeah. would he be? He would be... He would not be uh, on TV. They'd give him a gimmick. What was the guy that won the North American title and they did a comedy gimmick with him? Leon Ruff. Yeah. He probably would be Leon Ruff. 
Yeah, it'd be Leon Ruff. They'd look at him. He's too skinny. You What's know, the matter with his hair? He needs to he needs to train longer before he ends he up on television. He needs the same haircut everyone else has. Yeah, they cut his hair. Yes, yep. can't have that hair. And like a lot of the stuff, by the way, I was also told if you if you everything about Hook, his his gear, and I think Tony Khan uh, said that he had music for Hook, but I yeah. think I think Hook actually came up with the idea for this music. But his gear, his look, his his hair, all of that, it's all Hook. He's he's a driven kid. He's a very, very creative kid and uh, and a hard fucking worker. So I just watched this thing and I thought, if this guy keeps his head on his shoulders, like something would have to go fucking horribly wrong for this guy not to be like the fifth pillar yeah. in this company. I mean, he was just fucking amazing. You can watch the chat. They they mentioned on commentary who was actually doing his music. Um, Action said, Bronson. Thank you, Action Bronson. Uh, the the music, the hair, the the I don't give an f what walking down to the ring. It was just the package was great. And when he locked up, I was like, "Okay, this kid's got something." <laughs> and uh, and then and then they went into a couple of arm ringers and some things like that. And um, he's very good. He's very good already. Everything flowed very smoothly, and he was poised and confident. And I love how the rest of the locker room is already um, heaping praise on him and and rooting for him. Dude, Evan here says, and, you know, listen, if you're a hardcore WWE fan, just shut the fucking show off now because you're just going to get mad. Evan says, Dominic Mysterio caught a lot of stray bullets on Twitter after this Hook debut, and it's valid. Hook showed more in three minutes than Dominic has in a year and a half. Listen, everybody, hmm. let's let's be honest here. If Hook had debuted on Raw, does anybody think that he would have had the match that he had here? Of course not. Definitely. He wouldn't have done half of the stuff that he did in this match. Furthermore, furthermore, clearly Rey Mysterio had the opportunity to leave, and he chose to stay with WWE, okay? And the reason for that is because in Rey Mysterio's mind, regardless of what you think they could have done with Rey Mysterio, he's been a multi-time champion, you know, he's made millions from WWE, and in his mind, I want my son to be a great wrestler. WWE is the place to do that, okay? But does anybody listening to this believe that if Rey Mysterio and Dominic as a tag team had gone to AEW, that Dominic wouldn't have been a 10 times bigger star and done 10 times the shit that he does on a normal Raw show compared to what he's doing now? It's not a fair comparison, because they never would have let Hook do any of this if he were on Raw. And if Dominic and Ray had been in AEW, they would be complete they would have been booked differently, used differently, they'd be doing different they'd be able to do everything that they wanted to do, and he would have been a significantly bigger star in AEW as the son of Rey Mysterio than random Dominic on Raw that loses half of his matches because they can't figure out if they want to break him up or not. Now I really want to see Ray and Dominic versus the Lucha Brothers. Bro, Ray and Dominic is in the Lucha Brothers, FTR, the Young Bucks. I mean... The, the, the Bucks, the, yes. The, yes. Uh, <laughs> Jurassic Express. I mean, there's 50 fucking teams, and yes. if you put Ray Mysterio and Dominic in there, they'd be fucking tearing the house down. You're right about everything. Uh, before we move on, I just... I, back to Hook. I mean, they talk about guys paying dues and learn how to hone their craft and hook like he has been honing his craft for about six years now and jesus Christ. it is wrestling observer live today i'm oreo the orca do you have a blowhole rating system like if you're really excited about a match it gives you yeah, this, six squirts this match was was uh two and three quarter holes if you must know so I was watching this show, and they had a bunch of videos for this Liv Morgan about how, oh, my whole life I've been a wrestling fan. Oh, I'm going to win my first title ever. There's children cheering and going, oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I do indeed. <laughs> hey, Danhausen, can you hear us? Yes, can you hear Danhausen? Hey, look at that holy hey. mother of God. Look what we've done here. You broke a leg. Is that true? Uh, it was broken in half, snapped in two. The doctor said it was a tibia and a fibia. 
Uh, I'm a whale and not a doctor, but is it not a fibula and not a fibia? A fibula? What I know. Perhaps what? the doctor lied to Dan Housen. You know, Dan Housen, if you were a whale, you wouldn't have broken your leg. This is true because whales don't have legs. What did you grow up watching as a little evil man? Kane ripping off the door when he debuted. Yes. How old were you, Dan Housen, when that match took place? Old about, uh, what was that, 1997, so about 700 years old. Oh. Also, one time Dan Housen had Dolph Ziggler's theme song as his alarm and it went off in class. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yes, it's true. Dan Housen likes Dolph Ziggler. You like Dolph Ziggler? He's good matches. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.